And then the Ivy League. And the Ivy League, which we've discussed, Tom, is, you know, you might be a student uh, getting financial aid. And if you get $100,000 in an NIL deal, well, now you might not qualify for financial aid anymore. And the Ivy League, is, as smart as that conference is, as wealthy as the alumni network is, I haven't seen any action on their end to get creative with this, which surprised me because I thought if anyone would be at the forefront, it would be the Ivy League trying to figure out a way to get around this. Do, do you have any insight on the Ivies or any thoughts on how they could do it potentially? I, I don't. I actually learned about uh, okay. learned a lot about that, uh, the inner workings of that from you, actually, a couple of weeks ago when we were talking in regards to that financial aid situation. And, and obviously, that's such a um, esteemed, you know, beneficial uh, group of universities to attend. And so it does put the athlete in a spot where, well, you know, you're also attending Harvard. You're also attending Cornell or whatever it might be. And so th there is a, a give and take there. And I don't, you know, I, I don't have much of an opinion on that other than that is a very valuable education that you can receive there and a very valuable network of people that you can be involved with there that actually might be more beneficial, more valuable than uh, what the current rates of NIL deals might be.